Today we're going to be turning up this uh, digital synthesizer uh, clock generator from Analog Devices. Um, it's the AD9959 um, and this is kind of what it looks like. The chips right there in the middle and it's a quad um, clock generator. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to follow uh, what's on the silk screen with powering the 3.3 levels and the 1.8 volts. Um, also, we're going to inject a 1.8 volts into that SMA connector. Um, each of the DAC channels has its own uh, 1.8 volt level, but all of the uh, 1.8 levels uh, for the DAC outputs are connected together via some strap resistors. So feed it in one place and you're good to go. Uh, we also have um, a 50 megahertz reference clock coming in to the module to be able to uh, start generating you know clock signals and stuff but anyway this is what i'm feeding in 50 megahertz at 0.8 volts peak to peak and uh, about a half volt dc offset and it seems to be uh keeping the hardware happy so um that's what we've got and um right now on channel one which is located in the top right uh we get we get, this is a uh, cheapy scope, so the uh, frequency is going to be a little bit off, but it's supposed to be saying 10 megahertz. Um, so that's that's what's going on there. And let's go over to the PC software, see what's going on with the GUI. Okay, so I installed this uh, GUI software, got it off of the uh, ADI website. Uh, when you uh, start up the GUI, if the clock is there, then this little uh, screen down here has got some blue blue uh, font to it. If there's no clock there, I think it complains about the uh, clock missing. And I, I believe that uh, is a red color of font. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, three little boxes here. We're going to um, align them on the screen so we can start uh, playing around with the project for a demo. Okay, we got our screen spread across uh, the display here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, the file load. Um, let's see if I can do that. Okay, here we go. Let's load up a uh, configuration file. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to this install config folder and we'll pick this generate 10... 20, 30, what is it? 10, 20, 30, 40 megahertz out of the four uh, DAC parts. So we'll do that and um, we'll hit the open button. And when we do that over here, uh, we, it's saying we got a 500 megahertz uh, reference clock. Uh, in my case, I only got a 50 megahertz, so I'm going to put 50 in there. And then I'm going to come over here and multiply that by 10 with an internal PLL that gets us up to a system clock of 500 megahertz. When I do that, you can see the uh, load button is blinking um, and it's got another uh, uh, VCO gain bit needs to be set. So I'll click OK and I'm going to click the load button. So now we're running off a 50 megahertz clock. Um, at that point, um, we have a, a signal coming out of the uh, clocking part. So if we look on channel one here, it's set for 10 megahertz. So let's see what this is showing roughly. So it's saying 9.1, but like I said, this, this little cheapy scope is uh, not too valuable when looking for frequency accuracies. So that's about 10 megahertz. Uh, so if we come over here, we can click on this clock frequency here. And let's say we want to go to one megahertz. So you can type in one megahertz. And um, if I can get my cursor going here, there's my cursor. Click OK on that. And um, it changes the uh, channel zero to one megahertz signal and then it's blinking the load button again 
So what I'm going to do here is let's uh, come over here and look at this, and then I'm going to click the load button. We'll see what happens. Okay, you can see when I click the load button, it um, lowered the frequency down. And then here we go with the one megahertz frequency. And if we go look at the other channels, this is channel zero. Here's channel one. I've got to uh, increase the time base. So that's like a, a 20 megahertz clock. And then if we go over to channel two, we'll have uh, roughly 30 megahertz and channel four should be about 40 megahertz clock. So um, it is doing exactly what I get, was supposed to do with this project that's being uh, loaded here as an example. That's all I'm going to show today, but um, you know, those are the th things that are required to get this eval working. All your power rails and um, your refer reference clock. And then also I should have mentioned you know, there is a, um, a USB connection that comes over to the computer, so your USB driver needs to um, load in properly, but I just installed the uh, executable, and um, I don't think I had any issues with any U missing USB drivers. So um, this is the setup, and um, hopefully you find this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.